What are we doing? How do I... Diary. Um... Max was where? No. Max the, Gruber yeah, said he'd Max be Gruber. back at the museum sometime this evening. I should use the time to get some shut-eye. If my feminine intuition doesn't fail <laughs> me, I could regret it if I don't. <laughs> wow. Her feminine intuition. <laughs> this fucking game. This got really ominous. Did you get what I wanted? Not yet. We've searched through everything but haven't found anything. And Kalinkov? Still nothing here either. We'll probably right, have to take other options into consideration. Yeah, my Hannah was complaining as well. I don't care what you do, as long as I get results. Don't disappoint me. Strange. I feel like I'm always being followed. Even when I came home earlier, for a brief moment, I thought that I saw the face of that Konsky guy in the See, window. Um, oh well, most likely it's voice. my nerves. I hope Max heard something from enough. my father. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. You haven't actually said hello to anyone. You really need to work on your beauty. There's no one watching, okay? <laughs> I, look, look, look. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Streamer Extreme, that's great. No, it's not. That is great. No. That is a fantastic title. Use it. Streamer Extreme. <laughs> that is the derpiest fucking T Rex in the history of ever. What's the. Uh, how do you do. Well, there was a button, wasn't there, to make things show up? Wait. <laughs> I thought it would be a keyboard button. This game is so dated. <laughs> they just left that hatch in the T Rex open for everyone to see. This is. Poor management of the museum. Uh, was it this one? No, it was this guy, right? This was Max Gruber in here. If you say so. There's an index card with Max Gruber written on it. Can you hear the, the Hello? music? Can I interrupt for a moment? You're not interrupting, on the contrary. Have you heard from your father? No, unfortunately not. And last night I was attacked. Attacked? Are you hurt? No, nothing to worry about. But it must be because of something important. Do you really have no idea what it could be? No, I... He's been under a lot of stress in life. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stress okay. Last few days, but that's <laughs> happened before. Looking back, there are plenty of ways to interpret it, but especially conspicuous? No, not really. That's a shame. Yesterday evening, you offered me your help. Does the offer still stand? But of course. My name is Max, by the way. Nina. But you know that, don't you? So, ask away. <laughs> Didn't we ask about these guys already? Possibly. But now you know that you can ask him about Tunguska. Tunguska? Ask about Oleg. Tunguska. <laughs> Tunguska. Tung uh, ask about Oleg. Does the name Oleg Kamburski say anything to you? Kamburski? Oleg Kamburski? No, nothing. Should it? Unfortunately, I don't you sounded exactly way know too... that either. Hmm. I know all about that name. But I don't. Why would I know about that name? I found this piece of paper amongst my father's records. Does it tell you anything? LA 60 AK 19 AL? That sounds like one of our exhibits. What about it? No idea. I was hoping that you could tell me that. Not spontaneously, but I can go and get the item. This voice acting wavers between actually quite good the and The note with the description of the diadem is missing, but <laughs> you just had it in your hand. Well, I don't know any more about awful. it either. Thanks Not a lot. Can I take my time to have a look at it? Of course, but please don't forget to put it back later. Otherwise, your father will tear my head off. If he still can. Hey, stop thinking like that. We'll find him, I promise. God damn it, yes, Nina. hopefully. There must be an important reason why Daddy kept a piece of paper with the description of the diadem at home. But what? What move. is that about the true princess? He used but to call me that walk. sometimes. 
Is it a message to me that I should be able to understand somehow? Think, Nina. Think quickly. She's just been staring at him for like 30 seconds, thinking of something. <laughs> Yesterday evening, Eddie was mumbling something about people in black robes. I didn't take him very seriously at first, because his description was, let's say, a little strange. But I spoke to a little girl today who saw something similar last night. She even took a photo of the men in black robes. Unfortunately, there is not very much to see. But I'll certainly speak to Eddie about it again. Yeah. Do you know where I can find him? No, I have no idea. I haven't seen him all day. He's probably crept away somewhere quiet to think about it all. You mean he's drinking again? Yes, I'm afraid so. Unless... Unless what? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Come on out with it, tell me! Well, if those strange men in black noticed that he was watching them... You mean they came back? I don't know. At the moment, I have no idea what is actually happening here. Well, this is something we have in common. Oh, come on. The dialogue finished. In the last <laughs> few hours, I've heard the name Tunguska several times. Tunguska. Do you know anything about it? Is that how you're supposed to say I have no idea. Tunguska catastrophe Tunguska. from 1908? Uh, yes, could be. At the beginning of the last century, something exploded there. The destruction must have been enormous, but even today, nobody really knows what happened back then. Your father once took part in an expedition to Tunguska, but you probably know that, don't you? We never really spoke much about what he used to do. After my mother's death, he never wanted to speak about his work in Russia anymore. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. That's okay. It was a long time ago. She was killed in a traffic that. accident. Shortly <laughs> after that, we came to Germany. I think my father simply wanted to leave all of that behind him. And your what? father never spoke <laughs> All of the information, in all of the exposition, Did you ever and ask him? No. Uh, he asked me dead. never to ask him again. And I kept my word, despite being very interested at times. Well, I know a little more about it. In 1908, an unidentified object went down over the Siberian taiga. A huge oh, is this area for aliens? Was completely destroyed by the shockwave and a wall of fire. The shepherds who lived there, the so called Evenk, were either hurled through the air or burnt. There are hardly any survivors to not, witness not, anything. Not by Several expeditions were the... started to find out the cause of this catastrophe. But despite all their efforts, no clues or any evidence was found that was at all helpful. And in time, several it's fantastic aliens, theories arose. Kingdom of the From a meteorite colliding with Earth, to the appearance of an unknown type of energy, to the explosion of a spaceship. And off the top of my head, that is about everything that I can tell you on the subject. But somewhere in the archive, I still have a few articles over the Tunguska phenomenon lying around. Shall I go and get them? Yes. Then why am I playing it? You. Oleg spoke about it, and I read one of my father's mails to him. There was also something about it in there. Maybe it will bring me a little further. Okay, I just have to get a few small things done here, and then I'll have a look around the archive. Thank you very much. The things out of the archive... About Tunguska. Yes, I'll get going now. But it could take a while until I've sorted through I'm the finishing things up no here. Problem. I'll get going right I'll now. I'll be here. Bye. The where I just stare at for a bit. So now we just have to raid his room. Right? right? That's another one. Do you don't want to cheat and look for the clues? If I swipe things from Max's <laughs> office, Ow. he certainly won't keep helping me. But I'd like to get rid of this eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to swipe things. Um, it looks uh, kind of threatening. That red eye on the totem seems to be following me everywhere I go. I don't even believe in magic and all that stuff, but I find it creepy anyway. Open the uh, toxic camera. fridge. On the outside, it seems totally normal. <laughs> what a fantastic description of a fridge. Freezer, maybe? I'm not. Let's see what we find totally here. On the inside, ice cold. I'm just taking some poison. Uh, what's this? Acid bottle, cement. <laughs> Why is he keeping those in a fridge? Why is he keeping a cement bag in a fridge? It's powder. <laughs> I think the real suspicious character here is Max. <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably a camera in his little, little totem, right? Wait, how dated is this game? When's this set? I mean, it was came out in 2006. And they have computers. So... 
Hmm. Yeah. Let me leave now. What else did I need to do? I just make an acid bomb. <laughs> no. The label is illegible, but judging from the skull and the other symbols, it must be extremely corrosive. Yeah. Must be. Must be. Plaster of Paris. The text says to add water and vegetable oil and mix to achieve the desired consistency. I have water. <laughs> Do I have vegetable oil? <laughs> I have a bunch of other nonsensical bollocks to go through there. What am I supposed to do? I turn off the light. Just fin like. There's gotta be other stuff around, right? Well, maybe there's a new place for you to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you find the, the number for the exhibition? Was that the, the hatch? The hatch? This thing. Like, There's a number on this note. L A six zero. Yeah, oh, we, we had a discussion okay. about it, remember? Nine A L. <laughs> Under that, there's a description of the diadem that was probably robbed from an Oriental princess about two hundred years ago. Originally, the three largest gemstones in the world had been incorporated into this diadem. On the left, an emerald. <laughs> on the right, a ruby. She's that in the bad. middle, an amethyst. My I don't care about her, on the back. her gems. The diadem will illuminate diadem the real princess, cool. and she will realize that money is not the greatest treasure. What? Her skin. Her skin. Can I just leave and never come back? <laughs> Can I leave? Sure. Anything else? So, this is not. This is um. There's nothing here. Why? Um. This is more annoying than The Walking Dead, the first season where you couldn't run around; you had to walk really slowly. God damn it! <laughs> That's the diadem. There are three stones missing out of the diadem. It looks rather unspectacular, but it seems to be important for my father. I should find out why. What's the, the cover? What is it steaming? Can you click on that? It's that piece of trash there. Right. Where the lights the flies back in? No, that, that's just the door. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is anything else to do here. Is there anywhere, is there anywhere new to go? Or am I just waiting? I think I still have more to do here. Okay, I'm just waiting around. Sure. <laughs> this is rock. It's got a thing in. Can Looks I... like something has been embedded in that stone. It has a red-violet glow. Can I melt it? Can I melt that with the acid? Okay. Got an acid flask. Good. Saves me some stuff tonight. I'll put the stone into the acid and see how it reacts. The acid is doing its work admirably. The stone is beginning to corrode. I'll have to take it out of the acid at the right moment. Otherwise, the inclusion will go the same way as the rest of the stone. Oh, I thought there would be a, a thing that I had to time there. No, it just no. does it for you. <laughs> Perfect opportunity for a minigame. It doesn't fit in there properly. It keeps falling out. <laughs> She's the smell. The light is refracted a thousand times in the amethyst. It's beautiful. Nice. No idea why my father didn't remove it from its ugly Sorry. stone encasement a long time ago. The plot twist is the stone is worthless, but the, the, the rock around it was just oh, <laughs> so rare. Besides this Oleg, none of... Uh, I'm just trying to remind myself of things. Where can I... So I've got to put this somewhere, right? It's got to be a thing. It's got to be a little, little cheeky thing. You must have to put it in the diadem. Because it said an well, amethyst, a ruby, and a something else. Maybe, maybe it's not. to make it fit. Because you could combine the two, but she was like, it keeps falling out. Got anything scotch tape? 
Is there a gun? Anything? Yellow shard. The light is refracted. Shut up. I hope I know what I'm doing. That diadem has now been robbed of any beauty it once had. <laughs> Plot twist, I just ruined no, the entire no. game. Yes, that should hold. Yay! <laughs> the three stones have not been substituted with cheap imitations yet. I'll have to think of how to complete the diadem again. I don't believe for a moment that a yellow glass shard will pass for an amethyst, ruby, or an emerald. Daddy would have to be completely colorblind. So. The color is not right. None of the original jewels were blue. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Was that a snake? <laughs> you choke? <laughs> that was a bit of everything all at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so. You were criticising me and I felt bad and then I sneezed. Can we find Max? Coughed. <clears throat> Can we go back into her dad's office? Oh, so we've got to find two other things to shove in the holes. Surely the putty would have dried ages before I find anything for Probably, it now. Probably, yes, but... <clears throat> hey. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. What was in here? The coin showcase. Mm -hmm. Did we look in here before? We did. I don't want to. Missing. Okay. <clears throat> what else can I steal from in here? It's got to be something else to do. Anything new, right? Mm -hmm. All these files and records have. No, we've done that bit. We've done it. Uh. <clears throat> Machine. I haven't the faintest clue how this thing is supposed to work. I Why think is it here? The rock samples undergo the first analysis. Let me. This seems like it's not working. This game. Can you find Max? Where's Max? He said he'd gone somewhere else, right? To 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 oh, look nice. at the archives, but I don't know where to how to get. To Go to the hall. There was a floor plan or something, right? Here. Floor plan. No. That's an escape plan with all of the rooms in the museum. It's not up to date, considering a few of the rooms have been blocked off for renovation. I can't even read any of that, so that's not important. Um, what exits are there? I'd better leave that on, otherwise I won't be able to see anything in here. It brings a little illumination into- Incredible. Uh... King of the Dinosaurs. Even- Nope. So, go back into the rear area and have a browse. There was nothing else to click on in his office. Hard to believe that a dino- Nope. Maybe you just have to poke around and then go back and have him back in his office like, I've been to the archives and I found mysterious clues. Dun dun dun. The diagram is about how and if when I look at the description of What is the point in you? No one's going to watch this because everyone's going to be going, you're so stupid. <laughs> the whole time. So you want me to go back upstairs, not out the front. I can't leave, but there might be something outside. Go wherever you want to go. Don't let me influence your decision. Please help. My motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> let me leave. Never come back. I think I still have... Fine. Fine. There's nothing to do out here. I get it. Up the stairs. There was nothing else in in that office. Nothing in his office. What do I do? I need to call someone. Can I just call him? Can I call 
of, of Maxi Boy, or is he just going to be back there? Is there anything else that's just mysteriously become available? No, there isn't. Who should I call? I just this said. I have no friend. The only person's number I have is my father. <sighs> and he's gone. Can I just. Wait. If I swipe things from Max's office, he certainly won't keep helping me. But I'd like to get rid of this eye. Spray paint it. Put some sunglasses on it. Wait, yeah. Jab it out. Put it in the diadem. So the spell yes. has now broken off. But that eye now can no longer look at me in that evil way. I can only Making hope that progress. Max doesn't notice. Yes. Great! Stick it it in. fits! <laughs> It's convenient. Sandy? So we need an emerald. Well, they were... No. I can hear a plane. Was it an emerald? Yeah. So I've got to aimlessly wander around until I see a... uh emerald glow. Mm. Honestly, I don't know why we're doing this, but it doesn't seem relevant to the story at all. But hey ho! It's already been plundered. But I want more from this fridge that you didn't seem to understand at all. An aloe vera plant. The skin after party. Right, where's there's got to be something green and shiny just just around here. A picture of my parents' wedding. Lovely. I'm just not achieving much here. Uh, My father was never. I've laid both lenses. Son of a fuck! Together. They now have a green shimmer. <laughs> I hope that thing is in the right position. As soon as the putty has dried, I'll only be able to get it off with brute force. I hate this. I hate everything about this game. My replacement jewels are not really beautiful, but then modeling and handicrafts were never my greatest strengths. Why did you do this? What's this for? Wear it. I don't it. think that I can get closer to illumination by wearing the diadem. Now do I go back to Max? He's going to walk back in the room and be like, you found the diadem? <laughs> What was I supposed to do? I can't see the bloody close button. It's underneath the microphone. Oh no, the microphone's falling off. Oh my god. I couldn't see the exit button. I had to find it. I don't think that I can get closer to illumination by wearing the dye. Is there something you could have found like a statue of a lady? Where did you find it? Can you put it back on its... I don't remember where I found it. I thought I was just given it by Max. But you see, the thing is, it keeps... Keeps doing this. Keeps making me press oh. the lamp, so I'm putting it on the lamp and seeing what happens. This is going to be stupid. Whether I'll get any brighter? Wow, it works! Oh my goodness! Rainbows! This game hurts me. It really does. <laughs> Somebody seems to have marked one of the rooms with invisible ink, and it has just been revealed by the colored light beam. I have no idea where this room 8 is located exactly because there's no map key. Although, it seems to be one of the rooms that are being renovated. Cool. Now, Nina, do the smart thing. Oh, Max! Wow, not bad. I only go away for a few minutes and you transform the museum into a light show. Oh, I... I'm sorry, but... That's okay. Oh, but what is all this oh, stuff? Really? What does it mean? 
I don't exactly know either. Max is bad. But if this riddle decided. really comes from my father, then he must have had an extremely good reason for the whole effort. No, he's found voice anything out yet? He's terrible. I'm still working on it. And you? Is there anything new on the subject of Tunguska? Not a lot. Here, I found these two articles. Why was there a big chain? The light articles. beam has changed the color of the escape plan on the wall. A room with the number eight seems to be highlighted. <laughs> is that one of the rooms out. that is currently being renovated? Yes, and they've been renovating it for ages. The complete substance of this it does house sound like is him, but we checked. It's no not. longer the best, and the workers are having a lot of problems completing the job. Was there anything special in that room? Well, no, not really. All of the exhibits from that room are currently stored in my office. Are you looking for something specific? If only I knew. How's the audio, Marcus? Maybe you'll find something there to help you out. Come on into my office and we'll have a look at the exhibits from room 8. Have a look around. All Shoot. these things are out of the room that's being renovated. Okay. I'll just kick it. What's LFR? LFR. Looking for red somewhere. Oh. Can I turn it? I think that must be some sort of calendar. But how to read it is what I don't know. Make a rubbing of it. It looks ancient. Although I saw one like these in some Swedish furniture store only last <laughs> week. I think this one, however, is ancient. We haven't got the chat uh, coming up, have we? No, I don't think so. A pygmy warrior's shield from the year 1687 or 1688 in the region of Asia, or something like that. It's very specific, Nina. If I remember correctly from the documentation on the Incas that Why I have seen recently, to go through all his stuff now? these kinds of masks were worn during ritual sacrifices. He wants to bone us. I think. Not Nina. Us. Mm -hmm. Is this all I'm supposed to do? I'm waiting for him, so I have that to look at everything could be in the room. An antique. Unfortunately, that's about all I can say about it. But you could date that other thing to 1688. A vase from the Ming Dynasty. I broke one like this when <laughs> I was a kid. What bitch? Now what? Uh, Thanks. Are you just literally going to say hi to the dog? That's oh shit. I don't know what to do. There's no, there's nothing else to click in here. There's a number on original. My father wrote something on the back. There's a number on this note. L original. Uh, My father wrote some. Wait. Wait. Why do I have a pencil? To scribble on. What can I scribble on? Now can I. It's please? already been. <laughs> I'm not trying to take more of your. Sh can I stab him? <laughs> a pencil. <laughs> Round and equally exciting in all. Where am I meant to go? I don't know what I'm doing. My shoulder hurts. Aww. Thanks. Aww. I feel slightly better. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing now. This thing has all. I can't ring anybody. What's. Wait, he gave me something new for the journal. I'm just a moron. Blah, 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 blah. Do a voice. No. Do a voice. No, I'm not going to do a voice. No I'll read it, but I'm not going to do a voice. Stop hitting me. Uh, while drilling, Russian mineralogist. Unit. 
Leonid. That's not like strange. Leonid, but Leonid. 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 Kulik. Kulik. <laughs> uh, allegedly discovered a substance that was unlike any material known on Earth. It's fucking aliens. It's going to be aliens, isn't it? I hate this game. Uh, Kulik had already made a he 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 the headlines 11 years before. He had claimed to have found a giant, unshapely object made of an unknown material between unnaturally grown plants near the uh, near the explosion site in the Tunguska, because apparently that's how it's said from this region. All attempts to take rock samples failed because the material was too hard. And during the next expedition, the <gasps> mysterious object had suddenly disappeared. Are you all right? No, I'm not. I'm so far from okay. <laughs> I need to burp you. <sighs> I was only one. Did he? Yes. Catastrophe. Yes. On the morning of June 30th, 1908, there were indeterminable phenomena to be seen in the sky. I can read. It's uh, not often that I... Uh... Oh, dear. Never mind. A short time later, a cataclysmic explosion with a magnitude greater than 2,000 Hiroshima bombs uh, shook the stillness of the endless stretches of the Mid-Siberian. The, the, the mountains uh, and in, uh, an inferno of flames reduced everything to rubble and ash and unimaginable shockwaves snapped the trees in half like matches and three herders and their reindeer 20 kilometers from the explosion into the air seismic vibrations raced around the world at 500 meters a second that night the sky was a glowing yellow. why was reading that so hard for me <laughs> now what can you talk to him? No. I just want to kick him with his weird legs. Look how thick. What is this? That's a bell bottom. Um, am I supposed to find the thing that, that matches up? A pygmy warrior. Like, like with the dates, something that comes from that time period. Maybe. It looks ancient. Let me see. Relief disc. I can do nothing. Mm. I'm going to scratch it up to face it with my keys. So I've got to... I think that must be some sort of... But I don't know how a calendar works. <laughs> I don't know how this calendar works, anyway. Uh, I don't think I could... Can I just... Bye. I think this is... I don't think there's anything new in here though, like there's nothing else to check, it's just... This game has no... What's that? What? An award from the Russian Academy of Science. An award? I think that was... Geology Expedition? An award from the Russian Academy of Science. 50s and 60s. No, wrong time for this stuff. I really don't know what's going on. Well, just help us. Tell us what to do. I, we are lost. I feel like it's got to be in here, right? There's nothing else to bloody do. That is. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Nina! Can you, can you find me that could be an antique. Here? Maybe, but there were... Um, yeah, okay, maybe. Maybe that's what I've got to do next. Find a roommate. I, I, I know it was a thing, but there was no other place to go at the time. But he keeps going from over here, so... But there's nothing around the rear area. Somebody seems 
to have marked one of the rooms with invisible ink. But this doesn't even look like the same floor plan of this building from the outside. I don't understand. My head hurts. <laughs> so much. Oh my god. Do you want me to look at the walk? No. Yes. Your dog, I heard a, a, a boom. Can I leave now? I think. Right. Well, that's a good idea. That's that. This is this is what's keeping me on track. I know I can't leave, so I know I'm missing something. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, I'm still missing something. Oh, you're gonna eat crisps on stream. Yep. It's terrible. If I remember correctly from the documentation on the Incas that I have seen recently. If I rem Wait, what can I? A pygmy warrior's shield. There's a number on this note. L, originally, the three of my father. What's this for? I'm so confused. There's nothing else that here. That could be an antique. A, a vase from the Ming Dynasty. I believe in you. Really? There's nothing else here to click on. I've been meticulously checking just in case there's hidden stuff. Is there like a like an extra extra button lying around that does secret stuff? No. <laughs> it's a very basic view. I don't understand. Like why can I now look at these if they're not important? But I can't take any of them. <laughs> None of the stuff I have left is, is working. Who should I call? No, My I clicked on the... Mahina! <laughs> Can I just put your phone in the fridge? Is it a camera phone, do you think? No, not in 2006. <laughs> take, take a photo of that ass. <laughs> He had a computer. I'm gonna go to his, her dad's computer, and maybe that will be a thing. My father was never the picture. My father was never the picture. The map shows a section of Siberia. No idea why my father hung it up here. Coin showcase, I'm so lost. The radiator and the vent are two different things. The radiator is lukewarm. The radiator. The, the, the vent is a different thing, why can't I? You can use the valve as needed to release the. If I turn the valve now, I'll ruin the whole floor. Why is it there as an option, Nina? <laughs> No, I'm not going to take this. Your father has to be dead before we'll look for him crap again. Wow. The phone in the office. She, she's got real, real angry there. There's nothing else to click on and it won't let me fucking leave. <laughs> Can I just... The fuses are all numbered. I expect... Go to the... Go back to Max's office. Right. <laughs> it's okay. in here. What is? Something. 
but it's hidden from the spyglass. No. It's there. Well, this is the only thing you can zoom in on, but I can't see... I think look, that... Look at it. Look at it properly. That thing has Fucking obviously quiet. just been set in there. It doesn't belong to the relief disc. <laughs> <laughs> Where do coins go? Into the coin box. Yay! We did it! And we didn't cheat at all. I mean, you could zoom in on it, so it was something to do with it, but I thought you actually had to learn something first, not just pick a coin out of it. Fuck this. <laughs> Someone saw that first time and was just like, coin seems to complete the set. you're a scrub. Lovely, now what's happened? Something's happened in the journey. What's this? The note says, and the prince said to the princess, whether vertical, horizontal, or in both main diagonals, Make sure that there is never a repeat. Oh my goodness, it's a shuffle puzzle. Hmm. Does that have something to do with the coins? Wait, I can't be across the main diagonal. diagonal. Never a repeat in the line. Okay. Where's the goal? No, yeah, because it's not in the main diagonal. Yeah. Okay. Well, that can't go there because it's on the main diagonal. Oh. Oops! That opened up a trap door. <laughs> of course it did. It appears to be some kind of secret compartment. What could my this father so need one for? It contains documents. Thanks. It has to do with my father's research <laughs> expeditions. It's written here that in 1958, he was the leader of a secret expedition into the Tunguska region. Apparently after the 1958 expedition, someone in the highest position tried to keep the results secret. It has to do with some strange plant growth. Daddy wanted to continue his research, Daddy. but all further investigations were prohibited. And then apparently he did travel to the region again himself only in the company of a certain Manuel Perez and a local guide. That was in 1977. If I understand this correctly, a lot went wrong on this expedition. Something awful happened to Perez, and both of them were arrested. My father has not been able to find out what exactly happened to him that night, and Perez disappeared without a trace from that time oh. forward. Daddy writes later that here at the latest, he should have realized that human life is always more important than research. What does he mean? Maybe I should ask Max. He'd be able to help me with all the formulae and explain the scientific expressions. And this is a letter from some society in Ireland. But these are just empty pages? I definitely need help. Maybe Max knows something about it all. Sorry, I still don't have anything. But Teleported. I... How that is connected with my father's disappearance, I don't yet know. But I have found some of his records in a secret compartment. They describe a secret expedition and some very strange events and... Hey, slow down. I can't follow you that quickly. The best thing to do would be... She's not talking fast. Office. I'll show you the records and then we should perhaps have a look at his filing cabinet. Okay, let's go. I told you that I didn't want to see you here again. Believe me, it really would have been better if you had kept out of it. Now I have no other choice but to- <laughs> Ola Kambersky? Looks like I came just in time. Are you okay? Yes, I think so. What did the detective want from us anyway? Did he want to shoot us? Well, <gasps> he probably doesn't have his weapon trained on you just for the fun of it. We should get away from here before this guy wakes up. Take his gun. I'm sorry that I was so unfriendly when we first met. For some time now, I've had the feeling that I'm being pursued, and my nerves are shot right now. Of course I know your father. To be precise, I have known him for a very long time, and I know him very well. That's not precise I was at all, that's incredibly vague. Back then. We were in the Tunguska region back then. 
To get he doesn't sound Cuban remotely Russian. For a man no, he doesn't. An Irish biologist whose name I can't recall at the moment. I'm going to guess uh, Manuel Perez doesn't sound Cuban. I don't either. want to get into details Ooh, regarding the events of the past. But for some reason, someone appears to be very interested right now. I have the feeling that not only your father, God, but I like as well am in danger. Boss. And possibly yeah. all members of that past expedition still okay. living. Of course, yes, I can't prove it. But if I'm not mistaken, the Russian Secret Service, FSB, could Something be behind it. They already tried back then to prevent us, and your father in particular, from undertaking further oh, expeditions. Oh, Coke. Right, no, I'm with you. Your mother? My mother? I can't hear you over their shit dialogue. What does she have to do with anything? You know that she died in an accident? Yes, but... It is rather questionable whether it really was an accident. You were in the car as well. I was driving behind you when the car suddenly crashed through a bridge railing and plunged into a river. I was barely able to get you out of there. But when I tried to save your mother, two of my two fingers, of fingers were torn, were torn off. off. Therefore, Daddy never told me anything about that. I'm certain he tried not to burden you with that as well. The two of us have already reproached ourselves enough. But enough about the past. Now we have to find your father again. Due to the events of the last few days, I activated a few of my contacts. One of them is saying, oh, the company. We got was you. moving in circles which, well, I'd rather not be found anywhere near them. But he knows just about everything that no one is actually supposed to know. According to his information, a research station was built in the Tunguska region decades ago. And Apple. now, another transport is planned to go there. Supposedly, not all the scientists who are to be transported there are participating voluntarily. This research trip and the disappearance of your dad a few days before its start could very well be linked. Does that mean my father was kidnapped like... and is now sitting on a train to Siberia? What Slightly do they want from him? Even if, officially, he hasn't been active in research for years, he is still an expert in his here. field. I am sure that Sergei could help us. I have to oh, go to I Moscow? Can. I have an airplane. <laughs> we could be there Skittles. in a few hours. Thanks, Marcus. Skittles. I know this Spons is all us. quite a lot to swallow at once. But if your dad is really on that train, we have no time to lose. As soon as he reaches Let's the Tunguska region, we'll, we'll barely like, be able to get him you? out again. <laughs> the area around the station is too heavily guarded. What do you mean? I don't know. But maybe it is the only chance. So let's go. It would be good if someone stayed behind. In case Vladimir does get in touch after all. But... Nina, we should go if we want another chance to get there before the train leaves. I suppose I could have another look at your father's records. But I don't have a good feeling. Great. Because there's a detective then unconscious in go. there, maybe. <laughs> Take good care of yourself, okay? I'll do my very best. I wish I could... Yes, me too. What does that mean? <laughs> I wish I could phone you. Yes, me too. But we don't have time. Get on this plane. How far through this are we? Not very far. Fuck. Christ, this music is so epic. Oh, Oleg didn't tell me you were such a beauty. The if fuck? I had known that, my price would have gone down. Um, yes, I'm happy to see you too. <laughs> That's what you said. Search for my father. Sergey can do a lot of things. Some say Sergey can do everything, but Sergey is martyr, so let's just stick with Sergey can do almost everything. Yes, yes, <gasps> modesty honors you. What can I do um, for you? I Who wrote I this? Sure. This is Sergei a train wreck. All the information again, first hand. And Why looking at your mouth and your moving lips. Are you I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he sound go? like he's from New York? One he's hand meant to be Russian. Other... Okay. He's gone to Moscow. So, my father has disappeared. I only <laughs> wanted to meet him in the museum the where he worked. Okay. And as I arrived... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Really Sergey knows that. Then like, what do you want film? to know? What did your father do in the last few weeks? What was he working on? Who was he working for? Oh, quite honestly, I have no idea. I have never really spoken to my father to any extent about his work. 
He tends to hold hour long really lectures about to my scientific things, and Period. after a few minutes, I tend to fall half asleep. Then at some time, we agreed to leave the subject of work out of our conversations. Not good. Really not good. <laughs> yes, I know, but it doesn't matter no, now I'm anyway. But yes. again, I really don't That's know what it was know. or for who he has been working for recently. Besides his work for the museum, he still held lectures and prepared reports. But I can't be any more exact than that. All I know is that in the last few days, he seemed a bit unconcentrated, as if he was especially concerned with something. As if he needed but water. Added. What that was? That gets us nowhere. Hey. A couple of birdies told me in the last few days that another train is leaving for the Tunguska region today. What he is has his to do with some kind of scientific experiments. What oh, kind exactly? I don't know. But it's not important. Experiments. <laughs> a few old friends have been reactivated. Old friends? His reactivated? Scientists and people who know the area who were in the Tunguska region in the past, they were, well, asked to cooperate. Some came like voluntarily. Trouble. Others a had to be persuaded. Ah, oh, I understand. Uh. Good. Be that as it may. Your father may be with them. Is he in danger? If he doesn't do I know anything going. stupid, he it's won't Trump have any crossed with someone, normal. and I can't remember but his bloody how name. Going to get him out? Christopher so Walken. Christopher yeah. Walken. It's Christopher Walken. <laughs> but as I've already said, what? Sergey can do almost everything. But from yeah, an old acquaintance standing at the side entrance of the train station. He'll take you in and give you a pass and a uniform. As soon as you're on board the train, you should be able to find enough time to look around. The guards on board are usually busy drinking and playing cards during the trip. Oh, and by the way, you're traveling under the name Nina Perkova. Your last name could give you away if your father is actually on board. So I get in the train, eliminate so all the guards, and So she doesn't have to change her first name. Okay. Alone? Great plan. Just eliminate the guards. When you find him, nice. then we'll see how you'll get your father out. Not to worry. Sergey would never leave such a sweet ass hanging. Oh okay, my god. That's a relief then. Uh, no, it's not. I'm a little this bit whole conversation is dodgy. Hi, Anna. I'm really Hi. Happy that you turned up at a great point. Thank you. That's okay, little one. They oh. don't call Sergey the good soul of Moscow for oh. nothing. And don't forget, even if you get information that you don't know I what to do, I think this man might be a rapist. Sergey can certainly figure it out. I'm just okay. getting a feeling. Like he he looks like the out. kingpin in worse suit. Oh. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. It's much too nice to sit around out here. Comrade Yushin is taking your shift now. Isn't that nice of him? What? Why? Come with me. Let's chat a bit. <laughs> chat. It doesn't seem to be my lucky day today. Was that a coincidence, or did they find out that Sergei bribed one of the guards? In any case, I now have a huge problem. Sergei has gone. My cell phone has no signal here, and I have to get onto the train fast. Nina, it's time for a stroke of genius. I need an idea. Even with wheels, that <laughs> thing probably wouldn't move. Without wheels, there is <laughs> She's not She's so good at now. stating bollocks. Some handy rubble there. There's a man. Speak to well, the man. Well, let's rummage around in the garbage. We're in we? Russia. Why would Great. she? Why would she be able to speak Rusty Russian? Nut. There you and go. I found something totally useful. Something. It's the small things in life that bring happiness. Yep. Like garbage. Okay, so I can probably make a, a slingshot, an right? I can sling I can slingshot. Uh Game of Thrones is amazing. Game of Thrones is great. Dirt and refuge. Shit went down. That rust bucket. Shit went south. A lot of things went south actually, including the army of the dead. Spoilers. As long as well, Marcus hasn't seen it. Way, I should take the opportunity. That's been obvious from the beginning that the army of the dead are coming south. That's not a spoiler. Box. Let's see what Russian construction workers have for breakfast. Does he just? Does she not care that she just stole that from in front of him and just bread and butter? His sandwich. Hey, she stole the the We used to shoot at tin cans with these when we were children. Who's we? 
Nina, you don't have any friends. The only number in your phone is your father's. A long rubber hose. Demolition of a workplace is never a good idea, especially if the workplace belongs to a huge, strong building worker. He doesn't look that big. He's huge and strong. Oh my. He's making a furious impression. Fun on the job oh, okay. usually Nothing looks different. Season, season one. I'd skip season... What season are we on now? Seven. Skip yeah. seasons two through six. Hello. Just so late one. and you're still working? Really, yeah, it real take a lot funny, to put huh? Stuff together. You probably think it's hilarious that a poor guy like me has to work so late. And then has to muck around in other people's shit. Real funny, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Wow. You're in a good mood. I wasn't having a laugh at your cost, honestly. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> I guess I'm a little irritable. Today's actually supposed to be my day off, and... Yeah, and now I have to work overtime just because this bunch of soldiers doesn't know how to flush the toilet. You hopefully aren't one of them, are you? No she way, like don't soldier, worry. Buddy, to Good. Shoot like she could... When I catch the person who dumped this shit on my lap, he's going to be sick just thinking of the word toilet. Yeah, Unintended. Look, could we change the subject, please? Occasionally, Nina's response is very yeah. well developed, and my the stomach is oh, no. what Stop. it had for lunch. The hell? Angry. So the soldiers have screwed up your day off. Did they just turn up all of a sudden? No, it wasn't that sudden. There have been rumors going around for a few days, but I had no idea there would be this many. <laughs> I have no idea what they're all doing here. Hey, you don't mean to tell me that the soldiers are swarming all over this quarter and you have no idea why they're here? Well, there are always a few soldiers running around here. After all, it's a military train station. It's <laughs> <laughs> been in a long time. I've heard they're heading to Nova Zabirsk. Why are there do they military people here? I have no idea. Well, cause of they don't talk about I think they're just better than us. Most of them don't have an original idea in their head anyway. They merely follow their orders. Someone told me they're wow, also this scientists. Bitter as shit. And a little while ago, I saw large cages. I have no idea what they're planning. Cages? Yes. Apparently, there are some prisoners on the train. Just? Maybe that's why. <laughs> cages for prisoners? Are they keeping my father like a wild animal? I urgently have to get on that train and get him out. Please. Please. Come on. That car over there, is that yours? No, I think that's been Nina. there for a few years now. Have any wheels. I don't even know if there are any parts Why would it be in. his? It's doing all right, given it's been there for a few years now, though, apparently. Cost this place. Having to work on your day off is, of course, really bitter. That would piss me off, too. Excuse me, a slip of the tongue. Did you already have some plans? Cinema, a few bars or anything? Yeah, I wanted to go fishing. A couple of beers, rod in hand. Yeah, I had a friend like that once. Huh? Nothing, nothing. Tell me Well, just a really relaxing day. What is this dialogue? Instead, if only they'd finally pick the right have lottery a nice numbers. Relaxing day with his rod in his hand. And Nina had a boyfriend like that. The lottery. What is so special about that? They hold a special drawing in which you can really clean up. You know, I've been playing the lottery for 20 years and have never won anything. But today, today is my lucky day. I could tell when I woke up. All this shit is going to end today. I believe you, Marcus. I'm going to buy myself a little cabin on a nice yep, river me too. Maybe I'll even buy the river, too. And then... Yeah, and then spend the whole day with your dad <laughs> and water, I know. Exactly. The stupid thing is, you have to have every number in exactly the right order. If the first three numbers match, you can win something too. But to really clean up, all the numbers must be correct. I know how the lottery works! In the worst scenario, if you have one wrong number, you can lose completely. Wow! Yep. This is probably her mind. 856549. I'm gonna have a new life with these numbers. I'd better get going then. Me too. Where are you going? You're not going anywhere. Look, you're just right. Oh, it didn't even give me the mouse back for a second. An advertisement for the Gartuzo Corporation. Outrageously expensive. Insufficient coverage. Lousy service. If those are your requirements for a cell phone in today's world, go to the competition. If not, come to us. 
Gartuzo Telecommunications offers the ideal contract option for any requirement this is not a tailored very to your advert. needs. Switch now. They need to By talk now, to they seem to be everywhere. Everything. I've already received dozens of brochures from them at home. Really? They're international? <laughs> I just hit him with a brick. <laughs> please. Please, I can hit him with a brick. Why? He's already had a shit day. Leave him alone. You've stolen his sandwich. <laughs> No cheese, no ham, but four oh, layers gosh. of butter. That's disgusting. What the fuck? You can use it as an apron. You probably use it as first one. Why do you hate him so much? Brick sandwich. I can't get down there. The worker is blocking the way to the sewer. That way goes down to yesterday's digested chicken. Yum. Lovely. She has such a way with words. Can I not just like, plug the hose with the by leaving bricks on it so it doesn't fly? Oh, Demolition of a workplace is never a good idea. Especially if the workplace belongs to a huge, strong building worker. <laughs> not a whole lot. It's amazing the how little of a leap it is between breaking into, into the open house sewer. With a cat it would make this. more sense to run we, one we around the whole sewer. Using a cat, and then we went back to her dad's office and played with some coins and also a tiara. And now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Break him over the head. Just walk fast. The guy who took over the job of Sergei's contact man looks extremely well trained. The thing is, he's just reading a newspaper. What else is there here? Cigarette butts, gate, pebbles. Can I put pebbles in his sandwich? <laughs> I just. <laughs> this man, he was just trying to do his job. I can probably. From here, I would guess 60 watts. What? <laughs> That's so specific! Pew. What is wrong with you, Nina? Why does she have to be stealthy about this? She's been standing out there. Damn! That is the third Damn. bowl of this month already. What idiot keeps ordering this cheap junk? The story was just about to get interesting. <laughs> the fuck? From up there, one can watch over the entire area. Yes, I'd better yes. try to be as inconspicuous as possible, and very careful. The guy who took over the- No, I know that. I don't- do I have to- can't I just be arrested? Hi. Let's see if some charming words will get me into the station. Hello, Jeez, you wonderful man! <laughs> oh, hello. All alone are you out here? Can I enjoy your company for a while? I don't care. Uh-oh, that'll be a hard one to crack. <laughs> you were guarding the side entrance here. Is there any special reason for it? Yeah, no one's supposed to go Oh my there. god! Talk about stating the obvious. I'm flirting with you, stupid. You. Oh, and because of that, they have installed a strong, muscular man like They've you They've installed here. him, yeah, with wires and a uh, screwdriver. You mean me? Yeah, right. I'm sure they spent a long time thinking about who they could give such an important task to. And they came to the conclusion that only you could fulfill the job. Well trained and radiating power and strength. Yes, you're probably right. I've only been with the troops for three years, but I've already achieved a lot. Wow, this man has. I, as a mere woman, feel much better when I know that real men like you are defending. Who wrote this? About the station, that you have been chosen to guard the side entrance. Actually, I'm not allowed to say. I can't it's tell you. Secret. 
It's just but I guess it has to do with some secret service thing. There are masses of <coughs> conspicuously inconspicuous people what? running around. You're not from the FSB, are you? Me? No, no, of course not. <laughs> I was lucky. I nearly let the cat out of the bag. I don't want to end up like my colleague. They just took him away. Sure, I understand. Damn, I almost had him in my hands. You don't want him in your hands. <laughs> your colleague, where did they take him? Is he coming back soon? No, they're I'm going afraid to kill not. him, Nina. They're the going to shoot him behind a chemical shed, right? The FSB, mm. I think. Oh, why did they take him? No idea. But it's better not to ask questions. The wrong one at the wrong time, and it could be your last question. As soon as they have you in their grip, it's not easy to get out again. If you get out at all. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. See you soon. Really? You're unlikely to ever see this. This newspaper here? Yeah. Can I have it? <laughs> I guess so. The light bulb just exploded on me. Nice it was really old like anyway, it. and <laughs> it'll be weeks for sure before anyone replaces it. You have to fill out a form that is signed by the officer on duty yeah, no and one then cares, faxed buddy. to the ministry. From there, it goes through three committees, and with some luck, I'll see you. Yes, the wonders of bureaucracy are international. What about the newspaper? Fine, just take it. Thanks. Give some sick puppy a mash with that. <laughs> give him the sandwich. Yeah, yeah, give him the bread. No trouble. Please just leave him. I don't want to ever talk to him again. That was horrific. Right, okay. <laughs> There's got to be something to do around here then, right? Can I smash the... If I smash the... I'll try to support this wreck with these bricks. Why? Even with wheels, that thing probably wouldn't move. Without wheels... That thing is completely rested, and the crank doesn't move. That thing is rather rusty, and... Are you kidding? I can use the butter for lubrication. I told you it was useless lube. <laughs> you just need a wheel for it. That rust bucket is even with wheel. Now what? Try and jack it up. I don't think that's the thing I'm supposed to jack. I'm gonna give him the newspaper. Oh, because he wanted to check the lottery numbers, right? I can't do that to the poor guy. If after such a bad day he also loses a million in winnings, he's he'll not run a muck. Losing winnings, is he? He's just not Can winning. Just... One small manipulation of the lottery results, and the big win is perfect. Only short term, How but isn't short term. You bitch! That's just prolonging it. What the fuck? And how would you? How would he That's not cooler. notice? The issue. You can find out in here whether you can go fishing tomorrow He's or not. He's gonna quit his job yes, and then I find won. out he did I win the lottery. I have to go home at once and tell be my homeless life. Oh, and what's derelict. the point? He's gonna get I'm going to straight to drugs. my favorite fishing spot and we'll fish all night. And I'll quit first thing in the morning. If you want to make a rich done? man, you'll find me down by the river. I can only hope that he takes his sweet time about resigning. Wow, Nina, you are oh. You never know when you might need a huge piece of post I can go down here now. I can go stuff. down into the sewer. The box seems to be dry. One of the... Okay. Matches. I'm about to cause some serious shit. <clears throat> some of the yeah, soldiers... <laughs> I'm funnier than this game is. Well, yeah. Is there anything else? That bright light could be from a floodlight. According to which, I must be under the railway station now. 
It stinks to high heaven. <laughs> and the reason for it does not need analysis. Good job, Nina. A heavy duty safety door. The door is open a bit. Why is it echoey now? It wedged itself against something. <laughs> And the Done it. It's open. There is nothing swimming around in there apart from a few objects I'd rather not to. I don't know what's in there. It looks a bit like toxic waste. This one's been sprayed red. Is that of any importance? There is no opening for a key or anything like that. Not visible anyway. I'll just... I'll just go up. Either the ladder is in an awful condition, or surprise visitors out of the sewage system are unwanted visitors. No, I can't get up there that way. Why? Use all of the rungs are missing. No one is <laughs> just Hannah. We weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> she is indeed talking about the use the toxic brace to melt thing. I don't think you can. Nice set fires or something. Burn but, um, everything. Burn it all. Am I missing it? Ah, Why okay, I didn't I? see that. Until I get an answer to this question, I'm not touching Why it. Why should I? Bitch, do so as now, you're told. You are a video game character. So I've got to learn why I have to. Is that my phone? Going? It is. Oh. Be right back. Oh gosh. I assume that this pipe is for wastewater from the station. I don't know. Let's light everything. Throw matches into the gas. Right. Right. Now what? Can I just take the barrier? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, you can fix the ladder. You can fix the ladder. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, okay. It makes sense. But like, they're just- oh, they're iron. That was a barrier made of iron bars? Not are they normally just plastic? This is Russia. <laughs> they do shit properly in Russia, right? She could have jumped for the that. The iron That's bars are too long and would probably get wedged in the shaft, so I can't use them as rungs for the ladder. Pay for them to get wedged in the shaft. Wait. Melt them in the toxic barrels. <laughs> that doesn't Damn work. It. Can I just snap them? Barrier tape. <laughs> what do I do? Why should I? <laughs> Why you. should I? Fuck you, Nina. Nina's a, Nina's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> just do as we tell you. Right, I'm going back up here to do some investigating. Can I just hit him with a pipe? Please. Or am I making a giant catapult for this pebble? <laughs> Wait, am I actually gonna whack him? You look unbelievably strong. Are you really powerful as you look, or is it more fat than muscle? 
Well, I do work out a little. After all, I want to make sure my body is still easy on the eyes in ten years. Oh, no. Of course, optically, it is really very oh, The problem with most bodybuilders is that they can pump like, huge weights oh, and then not manage to open a jam jar. Hey, wait. Show me the jam jar first. Oh, have I insulted somebody's honor? I don't have a jam jar with me, but I do have these iron bars. Give it to me. That's one of my easiest exercises. Oh, one of it, when he goes to the gym and he just snaps iron bars. Wow, I'm really impressed. <laughs> Walk away. Bye. <laughs> wow, I'm really impressed. Just have her out leave. came back like she must have stunk when she got back to him so i've been in the sewer for a while don't mind me <laughs> if i stand on the very edge of the rungs they should hold my weight In a bathroom. So now I'm inside. Now the only question is where my father could be and how I can look around without being caught by a soldier. On a uniform. <laughs> Nina, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, that's really creepy. Can I just pull his leg? Hello? Are you alright in there? What? Uh, yeah. You always do that. What? You know, peep on strangers in the bedroom. What happened? What then? You were making some really strange noises. Uh. I just wanted to see if everything was alright. It sounded somehow sick. Uh, you know, he had his real from stuff. the FSB? <laughs> Is that how I look? No idea. I can't see you. Well, no, I'm not. Why does everyone here ask me if I'm from the FSB? Well, they're running around all over here, and I don't want any trouble. Who does? Why? Do you have anything to fear? I will if the train's supposed to leave, but doesn't. You see, I dropped the key in the toilet. Unpleasant. I wish you successful fishing. Very funny. My problem is also your problem. How come? Because I'm the train driver, and it's the key to the train. Oh, don't you have a spare key? No, that's <laughs> why I'm afraid to come out of here. I can't tell anyone that the train can't go anywhere because the train driver lost his own key in the toilet. No, better not. Please don't give me up. God. I'm just going to keep Regarding talking to him. the Secret Service people. What about them? What are they doing here? No idea. I didn't ask, and I hope they won't ask me. That sounds like a very wise strategy. <laughs> How long have you been sitting here? About three hours. <laughs> Isn't that really exhausting? Yeah. There's a horn you could toot. Shall we start a choir? Very funny. Now I just have to make sure I get a handle on my stomach again. What's coming out oh, just God. isn't normal. It's true. Sitting on the toilet is like real life. You have to be able to let go. <gasps> my and God, who wrote all this crap? The subject. <laughs> Where exactly is the I'm train going? You should know that. Uh, yes. But we got no such exact explanation. Well, I'm sure I don't know more than you. And if so, there has to be a good reason for it. Who's on board the train? No idea. <laughs> I'm just the train driver. They only tell me what I need to know. And you? Did you sleep during the briefing? No. 
It wasn't especially precise. I thought you might know more. I nearly blabbed. I should be more careful. That guy is taking his oath of silence very seriously. Maybe someone else is in more of a mood for a chat. He's on the toilet. Oath of silence? Will you be He's a right train driver. Sure, Who do train drivers have to take have oaths to. of silence? It's high as feet. Surely he can. No smoking. I have never seen a woman pee in a urinal trough. And no. <laughs> no way am I going to be the first. Well, there's no way he's not hearing Nina Can go up and down. set fire to some, to some toilet paper? And, like, there is a small sprinklers? key in it. There you a go. It wasn't poop at all, Hannah. You were wrong. It was a key. Away. The sieve is probably there to stop rubbish getting into the pipe system. If I open the valve, the wastewater should flow through the pipe, if there were any water to flow. And as long as none flows, I don't have to turn this wheel unnecessarily. Tell them to flush. <laughs> Was there even a flush in the Russian toilet? Because it's going to come out of this hot pipe over here, right? So come out here. So I can't do anything to it. None of this, none of this stuff works. And I go up there. I put the rock down, <laughs> and I just flush the rock. That'll make water flow, and then there'll be a reason to open the valve. What else is there? After my excursion into the sewer, I'd prefer a shower. Just After turn on the tap, you scrub. <laughs> a water faucet for cold water. The one for hot water was removed. Okay. Water flow. Such a good thing she has that quiz pipe on her. If I turn on that valve now, the key will simply be washed through the dis. <gasps> the, the, the tape. Would it? Oh, there's something else. There's something. There is a small key in it. A sieve at the other end of the pipe is stopping. The other end of the pipe. So, as in, like, at the end of here? I, I assume that this pipe is for waste. Water. Right, okay, so the water's flying down. Lovely. Just the longest pee ever. The train driver must be so confused. He just can hear someone climbing repeatedly in and out of the sewer. <laughs> One should use water sparingly. I'll turn it off again. That's not right. Water, flow! Yep. The hose connects the water tap to. I have never seen a woman. Do you want to hear the, the hose He's connects the water tap to the. He's got a bad stomach. Leave the man alone. <laughs> I don't. Can I just leave? I'm gradually getting a little nervous. I've been running around here in circles for nearly three hours and I still couldn't smoke. Pull yourself together, Romanova. You know that we are completely understaffed. Most of the soldiers are already on the train. I think you'll manage to survive the next few minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I've already chewed off all my nails. 
It's starting to get critical. Romanova, you... Oh, come on. Just five minutes. <sighs> okay. Okay, fine. I have to settle a few things, and then I'll take it's over. Not you. Thanks. You're a treasure. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> You'll smoke with you at the side entrance. Is that Incredible. clear? Otherwise, you'll flirt with one of your comrades, and then you'll be gone for ages. Hey, it's okay. I get along great with Yashin. After all, we both agree that men are better lovers. <laughs> Good. I'll be right back, and then you can go on your break. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so unnecessary. <laughs> I'm not so desperate that I'd steal from a Russian toilet cleaner. If I just wander in there, getting arrested. We both agree with many better lovers. A water faucet for cold water. The one for. There is a small key in it. Yeah, I know. I want to know how to smush it. I make it fake. Fuck a up. Valve. One can open and. If I turn on that valve now, the key will simply be washed through the distributor there and into the sewer. So lost. Are you looking at it again? <laughs> Some of the soldiers have been using that hole in the floor as a rubbish bin. I'm going back up to have a, have a little... Do you have a cigarette? Nope, I didn't find the cigarette. You can get one. If all of these cigarette butts are from today and all from the same watchman, then he should apply to one of I have your cigarettes. Hey, hello! It's me again! Hi. You smoke quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I know it's unhealthy. But I simply can't give it up. I've tried everything. That's why I'm glad I get to sit outside. At least here I can smoke. Want one? Yes, please. It'll be good for my nerves. Isn't smoking forbidden inside the station? Absolutely no smoking. They probably Absolutely. have stuff stored in there that could raise half of Moscow to the ground. Oh? What things? No idea. And to be honest, I don't really want to know. Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Very wise words. So now I have to go and frame the woman, right? Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. Bye. Bye, Yushin. Yushin, who prefers guys. <laughs> I don't want any cheats. I want to do it myself, even if it's nonsensical as all shit. She takes ages to go anywhere! Do you want me to stop looking at Just leave it to it. I can't leave it alone. Cars. Are you out of your mind? I work my ass off for you so that I can set aside five minutes and relieve you so you can take your break? And this is the thanks I get? But I... Oh, this will have consequences, I swear <laughs> to you. Wow. You know why there's absolutely no smoking here, but this has consequences. There will definitely be consequences. <laughs> You know what? I think it's going to be consequences. Hopefully, she yeah, won't get into that. too much consequences. trouble. Consequences! She won't get into too much trouble. You are, you're messing with the Russian military. Everyone gets in trouble. Uh... 
I think it's broken. Considering the contents, that is not a disadvantage. I'd rather have a vodka. Alright, fucking okay. Jesus. Shut out to be an alky. There's nothing useful in here. Vodka. A guy who looks so good is definitely a fan of the wrong soccer team. Oh well, we all have our faults. I'm sorry. <laughs> the way he looks, he surely is no longer available. And married for about 20 years. That doesn't seem to bother the owner of this locker, though. A hunky guy. He's definitely a photo model. I wonder if this lady soldier had something going on with all these men. The Probably. photo is a bit small, but he looks really cute. And he is in the military, too. Like does attract like. I should try it on. If it fits, I may not be recognized as a civilian straight away. Okay, nothing else in there. Why do I need this? Wow, it's a short skirt. A five-digit combination lock. I can forget cracking it just by trying random numbers. Can I though? What if it's this? Four, two, one, three, five. And will the lock open now? Nope. Damn it! That was not the right combination. <laughs> so close. You make tea in that thing, I think. Not in Russia, you don't. I just, should I just go out there then? Or I can go back and ask the, the, the shipping can, train can driver. Can you put the stocking over the end of the pipe to catch the key? That sounds good. Sounds genius. But I don't want to give him the key back yet, right? Ooh. No, that's cheating. It's like because we have to let him out now. <laughs> like, we would we, we, we'll work this out, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Sized. I hardly believe that the stocking will withstand the oncoming masses of water. It will get washed away with the rest. Who do I radio? And how should I identify myself? As long Fine. <laughs> You're no fun, Nina. <laughs> Just Hopefully the with stocking people. is of a known brand. Otherwise, the whole effort will have been for nothing. So, That's that no. should do the trick. Hasn't he been having diarrhea into said same toilet that he dropped the uh flush to get <laughs> So I can't just look at it. The key is wriggling in the net. The rest inside I'll just try to ignore. You can just hand it to him, like <laughs> you can look through it and get the key and not touch it. I mean, there are numbers, but that doesn't look. 132? That doesn't look like anything like enough. How is your stomach? You hear it. Yes, I can. Ah. Uh. Did you manage to get your key back again? No. I'm afraid. And no key. Without. If I get. Wait, I've got the key. Will you be alright with. Sure. Here, I have your key. There are also several other things inside the stocking. You'll have to get the key out yourself, though. You're a dear. 
No. <laughs> you really saved my ass. Wow. Give me another two minutes, then I'm finished here, and we can finally go. And my reward? Reward? You saved my ass. Isn't the feeling of having done something good enough for you? Yes, yes, of course. Is that it? Can I not ask you still need more? No, I'm not. Right. In for anything else, so. There's numbers, but I don't know. Anything I know. Be a coach. No. 1.32, 1.12. That's a smiley face and a hat. It is, I think. I think that's in here. Save the water. One should use water sparingly. I'll turn it off again. Um. I guess I'll go out here and have a look. I oh. think these crossed. Okay, that's, that's just. Neither of those gorillas in front of the door looks that pleasant. The big question is are they keeping someone in or keeping someone out? In both cases, it makes getting in there a very tempting and interesting thought. Thanks. Passage. We can just walk outside, I guess. A crane for heavy boxes and probably also military equipment. I doubt I can just go past them in black. Oh, I can. That's... I think someone got a good discount by ordering these signs by the dozen. The room is being monitored by several cameras, and on top of that, the strict no smoking rules. Wonder what they are storing in here. Oh, boom. This is obviously the whole time I just think I'm being just no smoking. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, why can't you smoke in here? She's like, the kid. Oh. He's guarding the train. Thanks, Nina. They are taking tanks along on a research trip? Just what did I get involved in here? We ask ourselves the same thing as we play Hello. through this game. So, comrade, are you coming with us to Tunguska? Uh, yeah. Well, it's amazing what a person will do for a couple extra rubles at the end of the month. I also need the permit. Damn. I must have left it in the changing rooms, but I don't have to go all the way back there again, do I? Yes, you do. Sorry, comrade, but I unfortunately can't do anything about it. If it were up to me, I would let you in, even without it. But it's unfortunately not up to me. <laughs> the FSB guys would bite my head off if they found out. Oh, come on. Nobody has to find out about it. No, I'd rather not risk it. I heard Solotov screaming. Poor guy. Poor guy, indeed. What about him? Where is he? In the game room. I think they really put him through the ringer. So hurry up and go get the permit. You still have a few minutes. And while you're at it, try to see if you can find the train driver. <laughs> You've somehow lost him. I had him paged a few times already, but he simply isn't responding. I would look for him myself. But I can't leave my station. And hurry, we're already running late. Well, I guess I'll Isn't ask the train questions. driver here yet? No. Maybe you should have him paged again. Okay, but I don't think it'll do much good. 17 calling 48. Come in, please. 48 here. What do you need? Could you page our friend, the train driver, again? He still isn't here yet. Again? Yeah, I know. I can't do anything about it either. Okay. Would the train driver please something. get his fat ass to his workstation and pronto? Let's hope that it works. Do you know what the agents are doing here? Working, I suppose. No, really? We're all just doing our job here. And most of them are also really nice. They're people just like you and me. I suppose you're right. I think I can save myself the question about the FSB people. Oh. No one dares to say a word that is in any way interesting. Is everybody already on board? Yes, almost. We're still missing a couple guys from the FSB. But otherwise, everyone should be here. And all the scientists, too? Of course. They were all brought on board as soon as we started boarding. Weren't you here yet? No, obviously not. Were there any problems? No, not really. But some support? of them are bound so tightly that they didn't have much of a chance to resist. Oh, yeah? Good thing, too. 
Have they all been put into one compartment? I don't think so. But it's I a good exactly thing they all speak sure. English. What do you care? You're only responsible for your section, and not for the entire group. Yes, I'm really happy about that. If they so much as touch Daddy, hopefully I'll get into the right compartment. And if I don't, how do I find out where Daddy is? And how do I get there? Well, I'll have to think about it. No, that was, this was back in 2006, right? It was They're before. Still, it was still fine. Yeah, it was before Daddy became a weird before thing to say. Corrupted. Tell me, do you know why the train is so heavily Tell me. guarded? You already know that, don't you? They explained it to us several times, even if I don't really believe everything. For example? For example, that the captive scientists were all spies for the enemy. But whatever, it's not my concern. What do you suspect? No idea. I just think it's strange that they're being brought to a research station now. But maybe I, they aren't soldiers supposed aren't to do any stupid. research there. I, what then? I hope. Tell me. Who knows what they'll do with them there. But let's change the subject. <laughs> Because I'd rather not think about it. Like this no, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll right. begin the search. Good luck. If I'm going to try my luck as radio operator, then not everybody has to know about it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back into the passage. Okay, action. This is number... Nine. Calling number 31. Come in, please. Who are you? You're using the wrong frequency. Get off the line immediately before I have to record it. Damn. That didn't work out. <laughs> Do we need anything else from here? Oh god, how do I get to that? Right. <sighs> Wait. In the in the in the bathroom there's a bunch of something dot somethings. Two two twelve and one please. If I'm going to try my luck as radio operator... Oh. Okay, action. This is number... Shit. Two. Calling number... 23. Come in, please. Who are you? <laughs> Damn. Uh, what was the one he used? 1742, I think. Wait until you have something to actually say to something on the radio. <laughs> you don't need to use this trick away. I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna go talk to those guys, right? I'm gonna get arrested and killed. Game over! Can you actually fail this game? Hello. If you don't get out of here, you could end up like the guy in there. And believe me, you don't want that. So beat it! What about this guy? Get out of my face. <laughs> Get out of my face. Uh I still have this pencil. Anything else in here? Did this guy actually tell me anything? No. We're gonna have to call it a day in my classroom. Oh. Uh, but I was having so much fun! <laughs> we need to leave it for the top one. So. Oh. <laughs> so very, very Anything new in here? You might just want to call it. There's nothing useful. Wait. Her, what was her, her name? Ah! I missed something! Vitally important! 
There seemed to be deployment or- Obviously, throughout the whole train journey, the highest state of alarm has been ordered. They're expecting trouble from some kind of terrorists. Ooh. That's why it says in the deployment orders that all irregularities must be reported immediately. I'm obviously not the only uninvited participant in this excursion. The guards will be extremely attentive to their duties. That's not good. Not good at all. No, there is something here about the exceptional treatment of special guests. Does that mean the prisoners? Maybe I'll find my father on the train. I'd better hurry. Attention, attention. All passengers and assigned guards should please board the train or follow their orders. The train will be leaving in a few minutes. But I still need to break into him. You get a permit to get into the... So you need to get the number to get into the locker room. I imagine it's going to be a permit. Can I just open these? You did. You just read out what they said. Yeah, but... Um... A five-digit combination lock. No, you're right. I can't guess these numbers, so I'm going to save it. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> How do I... Oh. Uh, so it's not going to work. I don't want to corrupt it. I don't want to have to start this shit again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Incredible. Such a good game. Such a classic. <sighs> Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> We're going now. Dear God. I've broken him. <laughs> we will never be able to play it again. <laughs>